Hey guys, new video here. Um, so I've been streaming for about two years now, and things have been things have been awesome. I realize I haven't put out like many like more real videos where like you know like the Wendy story from way back when and like real talk kind of stuff. So uh, the the restaurant I usually get will be my dinner. Uh, doesn't open for another like two hours or something it's uh, nine in the morning here in Chicago so I thought I'd just like make a video while I wait uh, to go get food I'm pretty hungry but I'll just do a one take like I usually do and um, you know, if you like these kinds of videos then maybe in the future we can do more of them right and there's like uh, also like a couple things that uh, kind of like prompted me to to make the video too and that is uh, one thing is, is a friend of mine announced recently that he was like quitting streaming uh, it was where it was weighing heavily on him you know um, things to do with like you know dealing with uh, trolls and criticism and, and and the stresses of streaming and things like that and, and that actually kind of affected me I was like oh man that really sucks and I started thinking about that kind of stuff a little bit more um, and then another thing was um you know, after the, uh, the 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 Reddit stuff from a couple uh, days ago, after that happened, I got like uh, a couple messages on Twitch. Well, Twitch has like a terrible messaging system where it doesn't always work, so like it was hard to get messages there. But uh, I got like ten to probably ten to fifteen messages on uh, Twitter uh, from you know friends, colleagues, things like that, being like, "Hey, are, like, are you?" Are you all right? Like, do you need extra mod help in your channel during these like the next day or two and, and stuff like that? And I was like, I was like super confused. I was like, wait, what? I was like, I was like, no, I'm I'm fine. But like, thank you so much for the the outreach and stuff, right? And uh, so it, it kind of got me thinking that like for the most part, people, um, you, you know, like people don't really like know what goes on behind the scenes, right? Which is like you know, make the videos and stuff. And, uh, and people really only know what, you know, the streamer has ch uh, chosen to put forth, right? Because there's always like that facade, like when the camera's on, right now I'm, I'm not streaming, I'm in Path Excel still because I just made the spark guide. Uh, but, you know, there's always that facade when the camera's on, nobody really knows what's going on. Um, and, uh, well, I mean, maybe after this video, you guys will, uh, the people that watch me, they'll be like, oh, okay, I'll get to know him a little bit better. And people that don't, well, you guys have no idea, uh, what I'm talking about or anything. But I thought I'd just, like, talk a little bit about, like, I guess, like, streaming in general. Like, you know, after two years, I, I think I've, like, been around the PoE block at least a little bit. So we, we can talk a little bit. Um, and, you know, we'll just get, like, some ideas out there and stuff. And you guys can let me know what you think. Uh, so like basically i thought about like how do i run my stream nowadays you know like like how am i managing my stream and then i thought like in terms of like a mission statement right like all businesses have mission statements i used to work in like uh, strategic consulting and so sometimes it was like the job to recreate mission statements and, and stuff like that and um any, anyways uh so like for this stream recently it's it's all about I, I think it's your job just to be entertaining, right? That's what it boils down to, right? If you're not hurting anybody else, the, the only thing you should really care about is, is entertainment. Uh, and, and to me, that's especially true. Like, that is the only thing that I care about. Really the only thing. Once again, as long as you're not truly hurting someone, uh, it's like, uh, I guess you call it like the, the prime directive of why your stream exists, I guess, right? How can I provide the most entertainment to the most amount of people? And um, it, it doesn't even have to be like just when the camera's on. It can have your little tendrils, like your little lightning tendrils and snake out and you can provide entertainment offline and in different um, you know, venues as well. Um, and so, and it all boils down to this, like the performance aspect of it. There's nothing wrong with, with putting on a performance, I don't think. Um, you know, there's there's different ends of it, right? Like some people purposely have a completely built from the ground up persona, like a Dr. Disrespect or someone like that. Sometimes people have like the, the cat. I don't even know how they do this. They, they look like a cat with like a samurai getup and it's like not really them. I digress, um, but but you know what I'm saying, right? It's like the it's like the performance aspect, and so like for me when I when I started streaming, I, I watched a lot of streams, especially in the Poe community. 
um and even when i was like early like the first you know half year 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 stream i watched a lot more streams than i do now now i just like uh, i sleep uh i sleep i go to the gym i eat i stream and, <laughs> and then repeat right i don't have much time anymore but uh i, I kind of like quickly realized that in terms of a strategy like i i didn't think that i was going to have the widespread appeal i guess that some other poe streamers have and and this is talking specifically as being like a one game kind of streamer right like the like the the good boy next door kind of uh kind of appeal and, and i was okay with that you know and, and now of course i'm not saying that like you know like when your stream grows you're gonna have people that don't like your stream right um your content whatever um and it's just like real life you can't you there's no one i know that just likes everyone and, and you know uh bless their heart if there's someone like that out there but from everyone i met you just can't like everyone that's part of the human condition right and that's okay uh, and what i mean to say by that with that point is that uh, i felt that the dis discrepancy of this would be much larger um with what i'm putting out okay that's a little side note so so i was like okay if, if that's the if that's the case then what is the strategy there right what could be the, what could possibly be the strategy there going forward to entertain those people and then so what i what i've kind of decided to do is um the stream the core concept is focusing on uh like in groups versus out groups this the psychological concept of bringing um bringing together a very strong in group while also entertaining the out group which we'll talk about later right in terms of um like building a community i think they call it on twitch right having a community right the core idea of an ingram what is that right it's just like there's a bunch of people that have um some kind of shared identity or multiple shared identities okay uh and, and so i thought like how can i get people to be um to feel good and to, to bring them into this uh to pull them into this community right and it just has to do with uh, i guess like in-group favoritism um so without getting too much into the psychological parts but maybe i'll like link some studies below or something so you guys can take a look this stuff's like really interesting to me um but basically like in-group favoritism it, it starts from a very young age it's just a need to belong right it's, it's the human condition and i think like latest research is it, it gets strong and strong until you're about like six years old and then you're very much exposed to it and then it, it goes on right um and so we're exposed to this has been part of our life for so long that you know why not on twitch you know use that as, as a strategy and so um so it's basically you just want to belong to a group more and more right as time goes on and so there are and the reason that's the strategy now is because for the stream is because there's like some really uh i guess like powerful motivators to be part of the in-group right i think it's like a what is it like a sheldon richardson study i think it's like 2005 or something uh as recent as 2005 right this isn't just like some old you know nine like 1960s psychology project no it's like um and the huge motivators are basically uh, as part of an in-group people, you can take credit for like the successes, right? And the accolades of other in-group members and right. And this is kind of like, if you like into Twitch, it's like the, I was there meme, right? I was there, uh, you know, being the person to link that thing, to create that clip. And then also, you know, if you're part of the in-group, you know, let's say you don't have a quality, let's say like, you know, you've always wanted to be a more humorous guy. You've always wanted to be a more empathetic or, I don't know, better at the game. You, you always wanted to, to have these things that you might not have right now. But if you're part of that in-group and, and, and someone as part of your community exhibits that or, or has that, you can kind of claim that as your own. And that is extremely powerful uh, psychologically, right? And it doesn't have to be the streamer. It can be, once again, someone as part of that community uh, on Twitch as part of your channel. And, and so that's that that was a huge motivator, and, and um, I, I think, for bringing people in and, and what I was trying to do. And, like, a, another thing is, like, there's always, there's always like, a, a protective layer to that, too, right? Where um, I, I think it's pretty safe to say that, um, like, people as as part of an in-group they how do i say this they uh they remember more of the positives right than than negatives um as part of their group and then also they're much more critical of like people that like aren't us right like like the them versus like like us versus them and and the them are always like judged 
um, you know, with more scrutiny than the people of your group. It's just like a protective layer. And obviously people come to the internet, they come to Twitch to, to kind of escape real life, maybe to have a little bit of fun and stuff like that. So that's an, another part of it, right? It's kind of like, um, you can think of this as like a Fortnite stereotype. If you say like, what, what is a, in your mind, like what does a Fortnite player look like to you? What, what is a Fortnite player? And then everyone's just gonna be like, oh, this is a bunch of 12 year olds, right? And, and that's not like, you look at Twitch in the directory, that's not the case. They're not really, um, little kids, obviously little kids can't stream on Twitch, but you know what I mean, right? And, uh, but, but that's because you judge other groups that aren't yours. If you don't like a thing and you're part of the in-group that doesn't like that thing, you judge them, uh, that other group much more negatively. It's like a protective layer to your psyche. And, and that's very strong, uh, motivation for, for being part of the, um, the in-group as well. Right. And then like, it's like kind of like really prevalent in Twitch communities. I've noticed like, Obviously, like, we, we like people that are similar to us. This is why I think, like, men on Twitch overall do better because if you're, like, it's obviously a male-dominated platform. Most of the viewers are male. And so if you watch a stream, it's going to be instantly more, um, it's going to be easily, it's going to be a lot ease, uh, easier to identify and to relate to, to, to a guy than, than a girl, right? Like, this is just, that's just how it is. And then also we, we perceive these in-group members as, like, more similar to us right it's like a bonding thing right um it's like just self-enhancement i guess right like we want to feel good about ourselves and um yeah anyways um so anyways i've been talking enough about that um so i i think with like with my stream and things like that this is kind of why a, a lot of time I, I try to like keep things like super up in the air right sometimes even to my own community you just never know what's going on sometimes because there's something fun right there's something special about like not knowing at least to me this is my strategy about not knowing what's going on having no idea but wanting to know and then and then one and then one moment later you do know what's going on, right? You have something click. And then when that happens on Twitch, especially what I've noticed is that you are very welcomed for that, right? This is like the, the, the force in like, he doesn't know like Keck, you know, email, like he lacks the critical information. And there's something extremely powerful about being moving across that and then finally being in the know. And then you are on Twitch, at least from what I've seen, you are very much welcomed in it and it builds like a stronger community um, because of that. So that's, that's why I, I um, you know, do certain things like that uh, on my show. So if you ever like don't know what's going on, that is purely the reason why. Okay, uh, I, I guess an example of this would be <laughs> you take like Navali divination cards, right? Like you go to Tasuni in Act Nine or Act Four or whatever, and um, and it's it's a very palpable feeling in, in the chat. You call it stupid, what what have you? It's okay. Um, where the people as part of the in group, the community, they go. You know, you see the debates start flying up in the chat. You see the uh, the here we go again. You know, any new friends in the chat, and then now you have your your entire. Um, I guess like your your entire audience like you know bonded over this one thing, and then you have the other group trying to figure out what's going on, um, and they get great benefit out of that as well, right? So um, that that's just like one one example, okay? And then so that that out group, right? The people who don't know, they will eventually come into the know, and then they can make judgments based on that, right? Uh, and then the the hope is obviously that they are converted over and then, you know, that'd be, that'd be great. Um, so, so on a moment by moment basis on the stream, like the, really the, the, oh, it looks like I have a bald spot here. What the, it really does look, it looks like I have a bald spot here, but it's not really, it's just my hair is so straight that the light from this window is making it look that way. Okay. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Uh, so, so yeah, I'm sorry. So um, basically the moment to moment of my stream is just making decisions. Let's get, uh, I used to work in strategic consulting and I still use like um, dividing like branch, like uh, decision trees to, to make these, um, uh, to, to, to select the, the right choice at any time for the stream. And for me, the only right choice is which action could be the most entertaining for the most people at any one time right G given whatever like separating that from myself whatever negatives might come my way because of those decisions um how can i get the most entertainment out there um for the most people? Now, obviously there are limits right if someone you know you're not gonna 
you know, do this edgy thing where you talk about how great Hitler is or like how you hate gays or, you know, someone in chat, you know, a lot of times some, someone chats having a hard time talking about killing themselves or something. You're not going to make a joke about that. But aside from these extreme scenarios, um, the only thing I care about from a moment by moment is how can I make this moment the most entertaining that it can be. And it doesn't always work. There's always gonna be boring moments in the streaming. I can't help that. Uh, but, but that's how I process things, right? Even, once again, I even make these decisions based on the outgroups. How can the outgroups have the most uh, entertainment and, um, and enjoyment out of it, right? And so for this, I, I guess it would be like a, a system of like uh, credits and debits, right? If you've ever taken an accounting course or anything, the first thing is like T-charts, right? Credits and debits. Um, I have like a little paint tool. I guess like we can draw here, right? Um, so like, like for example, I'll, I'll just draw a T chart here. Okay. And on one side you, you have your community and the people that like you, right. And then let's say you have out groups over here, people that dislike you, people who are, you know, indifferent. What, what, oh, sorry. That's wait a minute. That's a, that needs to be a sad face. And so what do I mean by like a system of credits, debits and, and, and making sure that anything you do is only for the entertainment of the most amount of people so uh the most recent thing was like there was this giant reddit thread that we went over a few days ago and um uh, and you know i probably said some of this to you guys that messaged me on twitter but i don't ever want anyone defending me just for the sake of me because uh it, it's all for entertainment right and what do i mean by that so when we take the ideas of in groups and out groups, the people that are, I, I guess, in our faction, right? We get huge entertainment for that, right? A huge check mark, great. Uh, they are entertained, they're loving it, they're getting their popcorn, they're laughing, we're making new memes are created by the second on the stream. That's fantastic, right? Um, everyone, the, the community, as it is at this moment in time becomes stronger that's that's great and then you take your out group the people that really hate you or, or look at it negatively and what happens there um in that mindset we also have a huge positive right because the people that like don't really they don't watch your stream anyway so uh so so it doesn't matter too much but once again, we want to make sure that everyone has as much entertainment as possible. So they are vindicated. There's a catharsis there, right? This is the feeling of, you know, I knew it all along. You know, he was this all along. We were right all along. And, um, and then to like the people on the left column, you know, all the people on the right column are the 12 year old Fortnite players and, and the idiots and, you know, autism, all these, all these other like negative connotations. But then to the people on the right side, um, the people on the left side are the ones that are like really dumb and low IQ and stuff. Right. So, so it's, it's this back and forth. And this is why I think this is why like factions and, and games and stuff are so, uh, are so powerful in creating in groups and out groups. Right. So, so both sides are parting the, uh, or sorry, both sides are, um are benefiting right from this entertainment that is created and uh and then you think like i, I think to myself like a new a new person going to this thread what do they see right because people you, you you make first impressions and, and you can really only get, go based on that that quick information again no one's going to read all like what's like thousand comments or anything they, they're going to read some quick ones the top voted ones and they're going to look at some of the more controversial ones right and then so for a new person it's like this if they didn't know you, who you were before, it's great because they do now, and now they get that entertainment. Ooh, I didn't know this before. Now I have this information to make judgments on. This is fun, right? And then they can look into it, and they can come to your stream, and then make their own decisions. Hopefully they stay, right? That's a strategy. And, and if not, then oh well. I'd rather have someone who really dislikes you but knows who you are than someone who would have never known about you or checked out any of your content in the first place and that's the overall strategy that's why uh you, you know i want to make sure that you know everyone like who on, on both sides are getting the entertainment and are able to say what they want man i i love that stuff i love the discourse that's created between uh between these groups okay um so like if both sides are are benefiting right so like i said it's a system of credits and debits this is an exact t trucks and counting the one side's a credit one side's that but um, i digress uh like where where are the debits then if there's this many credits then, then where are the debits and um and so for the most part that would lay on the streamer right like the, the streamer's psyche of having to bear the burden of that and this is what ties into when when my friend you know he told me he was creating streaming because of, uh, of certain things like this. And I thought about it and, and, you know, like, like dealing with criticism, like, like streaming and, and these kinds of things, like you notice a lot of mental health discussion in the, in the streaming community and things like that. And, and I've thought about a lot, something that definitely needs, 
um, a, a lot of light shined on it, right? Because it's something that I think maybe until like a, a few years ago, you, people just didn't talk about, right? So uh, a lot of people like ask, have asked me like, hey, man, how do you deal with that stuff? And there's some crazy stuff out there, um, some crazy people, you know? And I think it's um, like, like in, in my two years, maybe it's maybe not even that long, but in my two years, I, I think there's probably only a, a couple good strategies for that, right? And one of those strategies is, it's extremely difficult. Uh, it's just not caring, right? You just do not give a shit about anything. And this is near, I, I wanna say near impossible, right? Cause we're, we're human, we care about things. Uh, you, you, can say, you can say you don't care, but of course you care about things, right? Even if you're the most sociopathic person, you, you still care about some things. And um, so you can either not care at all, right? Like for the best analogy is like you walk down the street and uh, and like a little dog starts barking at you and trying to like run at you and stuff you know you're not gonna stop whatever you're doing and be like and try to convince that little dog that you're a great person and that you have these people that actually care about you and that and that you're not really that bad right you don't care you're just gonna be like that's a very cute dog i'm gonna move on with my life and um and and that is one way you can kind of look at everything right compartmentalization is, is very is very strong um but most most people can't do that right um and, and over a long period of time, it becomes increasingly, uh, increasingly hard, right? Like people on the internet, I've noticed are not everyone, right? It's actually very small. The, the amount of like truly bad people out there is actually very small. Uh, and but are these people ever gonna go away? Is like harassment and, and bullying and and all this like nasty, like more severe kinds of criticism? Is it ever gonna go away? No, it's not. And so you have to find ways to to kind of deal with that. Um, and, and one of the ways, of course, you can. When you say that you you know when you go for the, the I don't care about anything, uh, a big part of that is is just you don't don't ever show people if you're a streamer what gets to you, you right people are, are the people that want to hurt you in that way right they want to get under your skin if you show the the slightest form of weakness uh you, you give them anything right you show that you show what truly bothers you to them they're gonna run wild with it so you know you do not. You do not show people that you bleed. You do not show what gets to you. Now, there are things that you, that, uh, you, you can admit, I think. Uh, and part of my strategy is um, like, there. okay, I'll just say there are some things that get to me, right? And, uh, and I'll tell you what a couple of them are. And these are internalized things, right? This is why I feel comfortable like sharing it because it's not like someone in, in chat can just like get me with this. So the, the things I care about is like, if I end a stream and I think to, I think to myself, I think, hmm, if I was someone, an average viewer, uh, who on average watches like 10 to 13 minutes, if I had watched today, would I have been bored? Would I have just been like, eh, you know, that was super boring. I, I don't care. I'm not talking about like they loved it or, or even they, they hated the content. They didn't like, it wasn't their, their taste. I mean, were they bored? And uh, was the person extremely boring and elicited no emotions from, from, uh, from me, the viewer? And if I, if I think that it was one of those things, I'm like, oh man, I, I, I just feel bad about myself, right? And, and the other thing is like, if I think, man, what, was I like entertaining enough? Was I, you know, was I interactive enough? Stuff like that. Um, you know, these are internalized things that like, it's not like someone spamming resident sleeper, you're playing righteous fire uh, to level 100. It's not like that stuff, right? This is internalized from me t uh, acting as if I'm like an out of body experience looking in, right? So I, I feel comfortable sharing that. But there's a lot of other, th there, there's a, well, not a lot of, there's like maybe a couple other things that, uh, you know, will truly get to me, but you just never know, right? You, you like, no one will ever know because once again, you do, you do not let people online that want to get to you, you do not let them know that you bleed and that's a, a proper strategy so uh i guess going back to the original thoughts of you know if you cannot truly not count that was a weird sentence that was a lot of weird negatives in there. if you're unable to adopt a strategy where you actually just can't you just don't care about anything then what you need to do i i think is uh like i talked about this on stream that it's just creating like like a like a shield like a like a megazord right if you ever watch ever watch like power rangers you know when they're like it's morphin time and then the the power rangers would um they they create the the megazord like there'd be like a, a mammoth and there'd be a saber-toothed tiger and a pterodactyl and then uh, you know a tyrannosaurus and a tricer 
triceratops and you know if you're lucky enough and tommy was part of the episode you know the, the dragon would rise out of the water play a little flute and um these would these would come together and they create the megazord and if the megazord was destroyed you know the people inside were usually okay and, and i know that's a weird analogy but basically the the parts that create like the the megazord the shield um these are the parts this these are the shield that you yourself will form so a lot of streamers um you know that we're asking um you know how, how do you deal with that stuff well the 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 shield is is something that you want people to target right and so for example for for me these are things like you know people make uh asian jokes right they make jokes about how you're bad at the game how you're bad with like women you know they, they make fun of your physical appearances there's like certain like you know like yeah, it's like certain like racist, uh, debatably uh, racist jokes, you know, um, are, like talking about RMT um, in, in Path of Exile, like just, you know, being an overall like troll or like like scumbag or whatever. And these things are the parts of the Megazord. You take these things that you actually don't give you. These are the things that you actually don't care about. And you put them together as part of a shield. And you want people to target these things. Okay. When people target these things, once again, going back to the... Um, to the credits and, and debit system here, right? When people target these things, your community, they, they know what's okay and what's not, so they get the benefit of the entertainment, someone trying to hurt you based on these things that, that uh, the in-group knows to be true or false, and then the, the uh, out-group, the people on the left, they also get the entertainment factor, right? Once again, I, the, the prime directive is to have as many people entertained as possible and they get the benefit of thinking that they're like affecting you and they're like hey yeah i'm enjoying this right um and and, and when really you know not much is going on but uh but once again they are they're getting the entertainment and that's what you want so i think building this shield is, is extremely important and uh and and it stays there that's one of the most important parts it, it kind of stays here like in this chair right here obviously i do everything here even when i'm not streaming but when i leave when i go get my food in how many hours oh in about an hour and a half maybe um when i go get my food all of that stays here at all of it uh, when I go into my bedroom and, uh, you know, I go to sleep, all of it is still right here. Um, and, and that means everything. Like, that, that sh although that shield protects you against negativity and criticism and all that stuff, um, uh, and you still want to leave everything in, in terms of the positive as well, right? Because you imagine, you know, you're streaming and people tell you that you're garbage all day. Uh, that, you're, that you're a loser and that, you know, you're pathetic or whatever. Um, like that's going to affect you one way but then if if you only hear about the positive people tell you you, you look so handsome today you know thanks for streaming uh you know I, I love you so much you know you're the best streamer ever people tell you all that and rightfully so because they're part of your community right i'm guessing like they're watching you most people are watching you like you if you let that affect you too much then that's also a bad thing so that's why you leave everything as part of this this shell this megazord and uh and that's how i've kind of been able to deal with um I don't think there's been a change in my mental state um, very often. Like I'll admit, like people that watch a while back know that in my whole time stream, there's been one instance where I actually got mad and like yelled at someone, and that was over a year ago, right? Um, and people remember exactly what I'm talking about. But other than other than that, you know, it's it's been pretty pretty even like this, and. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like you know, give people something to target, right? So that they can benefit from that. Your community can benefit, from that, and and you just, you know, you're just unaffected by it, hopefully. And uh, and that's kind of my thoughts on on those matters, you know. And, and you know, I I don't know. I've been having so much fun streaming lately. You know, I I love giving people like this. It's like you never know attitude, right? Um, uh, and you know, like, uh man yeah that, that's about it um i don't think there's anything much else i wanted to say but yeah if you guys like the video or um you didn't like even if you didn't like the video you know you, you want to see more of this you don't want to see any more of this ever again um you guys can let me know and then uh but yeah this will be like episode one i don't even know what we'll call it real real talk episode one talk dog episode one i don't know we'll figure something out and um man i really thought this video was going to take longer because now i still gotta wait like an hour and a half for the food place to open but i'll be streaming again in uh 12 hours 11 hours so i uh, hope to see some of you guys there 
and uh and it's been lovely you know uh and once again to the people that were messaging me about stuff uh don't ever worry about me everything's gonna be all good okay i love you guys and i hope you guys have a nice day